and I'm back for another video so this video is brought to you by Shelly Green wig they sent me this 613 wig to review for you guys with the wig you get some wig caps and then of course the wig so you guys I was on the phone with my friend Lauren so that's why I'm doing a voiceover um, so we just you know kicking it up or whatever um, but yeah, I'm going to let you guys watch me install this wig. This is a 1613 body wave wig and it is in 20 inches and it is 100% human hair and it is a T wig, a T part wig, which means that it's not a full frontal, but it, um, basically like the hairline is lace and then the part is, um, lace. I like T-part wigs simply because if I wanted to go in, like if this was like a regular wig that wasn't blonde, I could easily go in and just bleach the knots and it wouldn't require as much bleach because the um, part is small. But because this is a 613 wig, um, I don't have to bleach the knots because it's already bleached. Um, this was very easy to install as you guys will see. I am installing this wig glueless. Now granted, I could have went and and did like a lot of customization to the wig but i honestly didn't feel the need because i'm actually going to dye this wig but i did want to actually show you guys what it looked like if i just left it blonde but definitely stay tuned for the next video because i am going to dye this wig a different color where i will do more customization and stuff to the wig but i'm literally just cutting off the lace and wearing it as is and the hair stayed fine it did have combs in it um but i didn't have to do any of that you guys as you can see the hairline looks great like i didn't go in and make baby hairs and stuff because like i said because i know someone's gonna say something in the comments i'm going to dye this wig but i wanted to show you guys that brown skin girls can rock blonde hair too and um yeah so i'm just showing you how i would wear it straight out of the package and this is a basically it. So I'm going to go in with my chi flat iron. But I'm going to use my chi flat iron to go in and um, straighten the hair. Now I did get a lot of shedding. I'm not really sure if the shedding was from when I cut the lace. But it shouldn't have been because it's not a full lace wig. So I did get some shedding. But um, like I said, majority of it came from the front. So I think it did come from cutting the lace. Um, but I'm going to go in and just straighten the hair and wear it straight. And then at the end, I will show you guys some pictures that I took. But you guys, um, this wig was very, very easy to install. Of course, like you can always go in and pluck and add makeup to the part. But like I said, for the 50th time, I'm going to dye this wig. And that's when I would do all the customization then. But... You guys can just see the vision for right now. I'm just going to leave it as is and then just flatten, flat iron it. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut off a little bit more lace. And then y'all are going to watch me style it. And that is basically it, y'all. That's all I did to this wig. Um, I like this blonde hair. I wish I had another blonde one so I can have a blonde one. And then whatever color I'm going to actually dye this one. Um... I would say glue it down if you have a low hairline like me because as you can see my edges are still kind of showing on the sides um, but you guys will see in the next video after I customize it that um, it's gonna come together but uh, yeah so right now it's giving storm well maybe not storm it's giving um, Khaleesi from Game of Thrones like that's what it's giving so anyways watch me flat iron the wig and then stay tuned for the pictures in the end make sure you guys follow me on Instagram to see more pictures because y'all I did a whole photo shoot in this wig but the wig took heat very very well it was very full and yeah so I want to thank Shelly Greenwood for sending me this wig 
I will have the link to the wig down in the description box below. And until next time, uh, bye guys. Gee.